Hello, welcome in the course entitled Two-Phase Flow and Heat Transfer under NPTEL MOOCs platform. I am Dr. Arup Kumar Das, Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, IIT Roorkee. I will be taking through this course, which will be spanning in 10 hours and distributed in 20 modules. Each week, we will be having around 5 modules spanning half an hour each. The course is mainly targeting bachelor degree students from Department of Mechanical, Chemical, Aerospace and Civil Engineering students. But students from Master and Doctoral degree research program in Thermal and Chemical Engineering may also register in this course. From industry side, we are targeting middle level managers specifically from General Electric, General Motor, Indian Oil, HPCL, BPCL and similar companies like this. Now, re regarding the prerequisite of the course, it is required to have a thorough knowledge of fluid mechanics and heat transfer before taking this course. Credits of this course will be distributed evenly between assignments and final exam. That means 50% of the marks will be given on assignments and rest 50% will be on the final exam. At present, keeping the MOOCs platform into consideration, we will be giving both assignments and final exam type of MCQ or objective type. Let me tell you a little bit about the coverage of the course. We will be starting with introduction of two-phase flow and heat transfer, where we will be introducing necessary terminologies involving two-phase flow. Next, we will be giving understanding of different flow regimes possible in two-phase flow and their respective modeling technology, like homogeneous, drift flux, and separated flow model. In first week, we will be having this coverage with topics of generalized two-phase flow and its flow modeling. You can expect something around five assignments in the first week of this course. Next week, we will be discussing about experimental techniques in two-phase flow, like visualization, void fraction measurement, conductivity, optical, and tomography probe. Further, we will be introducing how to go for signal analysis in this course. At the end of second week, we will be also giving you assignments from each module. Third week, we will be discussing about individual modeling of different regimes and averaged equations like two-phase flow, two-fluid model, and population balance equation. Here also, we will be giving you the assignments after every modules. In the last week, we will be discussing about interface tracking using finite volume methodology, volume of fluid, lattice Boltzmann, smoothed particle hydrodynamics, and finally, we will be introducing molecular dynamic structure. Towards the end of this course, we will be also discussing about phase change heat transfer. In this week also, assignments will be given, which will be also carrying some marks for this before this final exam. Present course will be very, very helpful for developing knowledge in interfacial phenomenon occurring at power generation, nuclear reactor, food processing, chemical synthesis, automotive, and aerospace industries. So, with this introduction, I welcome all of you to register in this course for knowing two-phase flow in a specific way. Thank you.